got a bill that we want to tell you about. It's expected to make its way to the governor's desk, and it would protect people under 21 from facing criminal charges when reporting a prescription drug overdose. The legislation was introduced after a teen died at a party because no one got help for him for fear they'd get in trouble. Michigan already has a Good Samaritan exemption for minors calling for help for people who may be suffering from alcohol poisoning. Yeah. Chief Health Editor Dr. Parthenandy joining us now with more on this one. And Doc, what do you think? Good I, step in the right direction? or You know, here's the thing. You know, I took an oath to, to save lives, right? And so anything that can prevent people from dying, I'm all for. So I, I get all the controversy that exists with this. But here's the thing. 44 people die every day from prescription drug use mm. in, the, in the country. So I think that we, if we can make it easier for people to get help, to come in and, and have the emergency uh, crew come in and, and, and take care of these people, I'm, I'm all for it. And I think that... Listen, if you're not a drug dealer and, you're, and you have enough of, of a, a dose that's, that's reasonable, I think it's okay. So let's talk about that because it's, this only covers prescription drugs. I mean, what about street drugs? Yeah. And, heroin. So, and so this is what I think people are worried about. Does this open the, the door for other drugs like, like heroin? Here's what my take is. If you're not dealing, if you're not taking the drug, I think it's still okay to report it and not be feeling that you would be prosecuted. So again, I'll say it, if you're not dealing with drugs and if you're not using the drugs, but if you see someone down, if you don't say anything because you're afraid that, that, that something will happen to you, then people will die. And so the, again, what are we trying to do here? We're trying to save lives, obviously not helping the people who are pushing the drugs, but saving the lives of these people. So I'm, I'm, I'm for that too. Yeah. If you're not using and if you're not a dealer. With all of that in mind, should this apply to all ages? I, I, I really think so. I think that, you know, again, this is a crisis of all ages, young, old, all demographic areas and so rich and poor everything applies so I think that if we can do this for adults as well it's fine again shouldn't be a dealer shouldn't be having you know huge amounts of prescription drugs so if you're using you know if, you, if your prescription says you know, use one to two you don't shouldn't have ten with you and put it in a bowl to, to, to be using drugs so I, I think that with some caveats absolutely because we need to save these lives it is a crisis in our country about prescription drugs people are dying and what we need to do is save these folks and not worry about all the controversy let's figure out how to save these people and then get them in therapy so they don't use again all right thank you dr nandy it's my pleasure all right if you have a question or a health concern for the good doctor you can email him at dr nandy at wxyz.com or send it to us Facebook, Twitter, email, we'll get it to him.